Mabuhay. Good day and welcome back to our mentoring session. Today we are to discuss another important topic, you know, as far as thesis writing is concerned. Now, today we have how to write thesis chapter 4. So, chapter 4 is about presentation, analysis and interpretation of data. So, we are going to have it in 5 minutes. Is it possible? We will see. All right. Here we go. Chapter 4 is Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data. For me, no, this, is, this chapter is also something that excites you know, researchers to uh, go about the progress of his or her study because chapter 4 is about um, a near to reality chapter because this is where you are going to present your data already analyze them and interpret them you know, based on your um, uh, statements or the problem statements raised in um, your SOP or statement of the problem portion alright so of course, there are important considerations no, for you to write your chapter 4 effectively. So, some important reminders are tables are chronologically presented, such as table 1, table 2, and so on. So, of course, your primary consideration no, in arranging all these tables or charts, no, of course, is the arrangement of your SOP. So how your statement of the problems are originally arranged, that is our first important consideration in arranging also the tables under chapter 4. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now, data are respectively analyzed as to Frequency, percentage, ranks, and adjectival descriptions. That's why um, the tabular form of presenting your data is very popular you know, in, in, in a thesis manuscript. All right? As far as chapter 4 is concerned, tabular presentation is very popular than... Um, uh, any other form of presenting data like pie graph, bar graph, okay? Okay, so um, it is tabular, the most prescribed, okay, a way of presenting your data. So in here, you can see the frequencies, the percentage ranks, and even the adjectival descriptions. Okay, can you follow? Another important no, consideration in writing chapter 4 is that data are generally interpreted in terms of overall increase or decrease or whether the data is, is also stagnant. So, um, at the end of the presentation, of course, you might be dealing with uh, the details no, of, the, of the contents, the details of the, of the data uh, in a specific table. But at the end of that, you are going to um, have at least an overall um, impression whether there is an increase or there is a decrease or no increase, no decrease at all. Okay? And, of course, what is the implication of the current data findings with the other related studies, okay, presented in the Review of Related uh, Literature and Studies, or the RRLS? Okay? Um, meron bang 
uh, kaugnayan na sumusuporta o hindi sumusuporta sa mga uh, kasalukuyang mga pag-aaral. So, does it support or negate no, the, the, the previous findings and uh, conclusions uh, made by other researchers no, doing similar or the same, doing the same study as what you have. So, that can happen no, in this particular chapter. You would provide your implication, no? implication from the study. So, now, why it support or why it negate the, um, the, the studies no? found in your review of related literature similar to your study? So, you need to explain a bit why it support and why it negate. Okay? So, these are possibilities. Now, as far as uh, the, the findings of your studies concern, okay, it, it, it could be like supporting or negating the other findings, no, of other, other studies. All right. And that's natural. Now, we have here important uh, note. No? Presentation of tables shall follow the sequence of the SOP. So, if your SOP starts with what is the demographic profile of the respondent in terms of sex, education, uh, 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 status or civil status okay and all it should also follows um, such arrangement here in chapter 4 and then you have your SOP number 2 then that also um, a good consideration for your arrangement in chapter 4 SOP number 3 and down the line okay so that is very important. Okay, so I hope uh, uh, this particular sharing about your chapter 4, you know, which is presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data helps you um, as you go on writing your chapter 4 you know, thesis. Again, thank you so much and thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. God bless.